President Bush told ABC's Nightline Monday night he thinks you can believe in evolution and the creator when it comes to the Bible. He's not a literalist. He can't. You can believe yes. in both. So, uh, so then you don't believe that Adam and Eve actually existed. Well, he says you can believe in both, I guess. Well, I think, too, like, you know, there are many people, Christians, who believe that there is some sort of designer behind something. Like, like for me, for instance, I'm a Christian. I try to read the Bible. I'm kind of a bad Christian sometimes, I guess, because I don't do it enough. But, bad Christian. You know, I'm a bad Christian. <laughs> but the... Uh, the idea, you know, I always think of it like this. When someone says, do you believe in, in a designer? Do you believe in God created the world? Or is it evolution? I always think, you look at a great bag, right? And you say, a, a bag. bag. And you say, oh my goodness, who's yeah. the designer? Not one of us. A, a, a bag like that you can yes. <laughs> Not one of you. Yeah. You look at a pair of shoes you like. You say, who's the designer? I love those shoes. Yeah. They're perfect. They're right. gorgeous. Right. So then for me, it seems odd not to ask the question when you look at things that are so perfect, like a child or the human eye and its complexity. So and what think, about things that are not perfect? This? Why not think, who designed how can the you... things that are bad? And I, I got the I, point. I got the point. Well, maybe someone else didn't yet. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm with you. I think behind everything, for me, I, you know, I think behind everything, God designed it. But when you say, you know, who designed bad stuff, yeah. I think, you know, we're, we're all imperfect people. We're in an imperfect what world. What cockroaches? Who designed those? They are perfect. God. I think God but designed think that. Like, think, there's think a, about there's how, a purpose, purpose for of cockroaches. every living creature really? or a child. Like, how do you think something just popped up? You would never go to, you love Italy. You would never go look at the David and say, oh, my gosh, I bet that just... Combusted well, and man came created right. that. You know, the theory of evolution mm -hmm. a, a, does work. And we had this discussion early on when I first got here because we were talking about this. And, and my thought is simply that there is a God and there is also everything that we know scientifically. Mm -hmm. And I think that God, in its infinite wisdom, said, you know what? I'm going to throw some things out there and see if they can figure it out. See if they can figure out how I put this together. Because what is a big bang but a clap from God? Exactly. And exactly. But even like okay. with the, but you can with that. both of them together but both in work. And the science of what we know mm -hmm. is placed there by somebody who wants us to figure it out. I, I think. That. And cockroaches. Exactly. I know the whole thing with cockroaches. <laughs> cockroaches are there to remind you never to give up. <laughs> things that were created that are now that don't extinct. exist anymore, that are extinct. What happened to them? But we I think did there it. is that natural... We, that human mankind we did here it. when the dinosaurs were here, no right. matter what they tell no, you. But that, it, that is all part yeah. of the, that, that divine design where you, you think, again. okay, this is meant to last, and if it, if it is efficient and working in our, in our world, it will continue and develop. You know, like just like your eyes, when they go outside, they dilate, or come inside, they dilate. When they go outside, they, they retract. It's just... I think that I just personally believe that with extinction, there are, there's a natural pattern in life, and it just the natural pattern is called evolution, designed by, in my belief, God. Yeah. I don't think that it How just happened. How are you so happened. sure, there though? It's we're having this, uh, Meryl Streep on today, who's in yeah. a movie called Doubt. Yeah, that's. Basically, what you, I have is doubt all the time mm -hmm. about all those questions. Because I don't know the truth. I've never died, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> did you ever, you know what, Joy? Did you, you ever read? Know. You could be dead now. You don't know if you ever died. I think I am. You know. You know, know. Some did people, you ever, oh, sorry. I was just going to say, did you ever read Timothy Johnson's book? Finding Dr. God. Tim, Dr. Timothy? Timothy Johnson. He has he explains a lot that there are these na unbelievable chemical coincidences that happen on our world in terms of the development of the earth. And he said if one if it was off one like hair of of an pico inch that it could never have happened. You know, in terms of the Big Bang, there's so many scientific coincidences that it's actually more believable to think that someone was behind it all.